I finally figured out what's going on with the biker scene. The hip hoppers, man. The girly men. You know, the one that wear the skinny jeans. Ah, the girly men. The ones that make civilizations fall. And we're not immune in the biker scene. I call them hip hoppers, the son of hip hop. They might as well join their own MC, make themselves worldwide. It's the hip hoppers. My God, have you guys seen some of the clothes that these people wear? My God, it's like they raid their girlfriend or wife's closet. All skinny, all fade washed, a whole nine yards. And I've always said the problem in the scene is there's not enough men anymore. And my God, does this prove it? They'd rather look good than to actually ride. You know, the acid wash. You know, we actually, I was telling China Dow, when we had holes in our pants, that's because we wore them so damn long, the damn holes just popped out themselves. It was natural. We didn't have to go spend 80 to 100 bucks on a pair of jeans to make them look like we wore them. No, we actually wore them. But these hip hoppers, man, my goodness gracious. And it's coming into the club scene. It's making the club scene a bunch of girly men. I don't know, man. You guys got to tell me what you think. But I pulled up some funny uh, deals. And this is the kind of stuff that these people wear. These hip hopsters. Look at this. Girly jeans all the way. Black with a little white belt. There's that one. Uh, with the freaked up uh, acid wash. Uh, then you got one with patches all over the place. What happened to the days of, look at this, like the Outsiders. Now that was some cool freaking uh, rockabilly stuff right there. Some good flannels. Some good jeans, but they're jeans. We went from that to this. Look how tight that is. What's wrong with these people? I know you guys are trying to look good and stuff, but damn, that's tight. It's like one of them freaking broads that have to lay on a bed to get their zippers up. Ah, uh, you know, I get it. Evolution. I do. I truly get it. You got to evolve. You can't do the same stuff that a generation above you does, but this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Men are not supposed to be laying on a bed trying to get a zipper open. It's nasty business. That makes you a girly man. And I get everybody music changes. Me, I'm a David Allen uh, Cole fan, Dago and Criminal History fan. You know, the hardcore old outlaw country type of stuff. And, of course, rock and metal. That's why I own InsaneVoltage.com, 24-7 a day. You can rock. You to hear China Dow and myself go back and forth every morning. Nice plug, isn't it? So don't forget to go over there. Uh, but I get it. I do. You want to look good. But at the same time, this is a man's world. And I would have never thought that I would see some outlandish crap like this. Who wants to freaking have a pair of jeans running up your ass? I don't know. We thought it was bad in the day when the pants hung, you know, halfway down the knees. Yeah, we got some of that in this scene. But this just takes the freaking cake, man. I'm talking, they don't even try to hide that they're girly men. They don't try to hide it. This is what they're into. And then they wear these jean shorts on motorcycles. I don't know. I really don't. I always thought when a man was a man, he didn't dress like he just raided his girlfriend's closet. Their attitudes are even the same way. If you take a younger kid 
compared to even a freaking mid thirties guy. The way they look at things is totally different. Now, could it be good for the scene? I guess. But what I worry about is image here. We were supposed to be the greasy asses. We were supposed to be the no care attitude guys. But this, it's like you're dressing for a prom every day. Now, does women like this? I guess. I don't know any woman that likes a girly man because when a woman has to take over and be the man, something's wrong. But I guess this generation, that's what it is because if you notice, most men sit and play video games now. And the woman goes out to work. And you're going to come back and say, well, don't ain't that what you old guys used to do? The women go out there, earn the money, and you go party all the time? Well, that's different. We used to make the money, too. It's like these guys are dressing up to go on the corner themselves. You know, they wear these freaking fake chains, man. This These fake gold chains. It's funny as hell. You can tell they're fake. But hey, to each their own what they want to wear. I'm not here to try to t tell you that you have to dress a certain way to be a biker. That's not me. Dress your way. I'm just saying, you're wearing skinny jeans like that, you're a girly man. Yes, you're a girly man. And they usually wear the white tennis shoes. Have you ever noticed that? I'm talking it's like they just had them shined. They go get that old school freaking uh, cream to put on the tennis shoes and stuff to make them white, white. The polish, whatever it is. They have freaking stock in that company. Stock in it. And then they go around and ride their little motorcycles. And everybody's looking at them, but really what everybody's saying in their head is, what the hell is that? Things have really changed, haven't they? I hear from Australia all the time. Theirs are called Nike bikies. Of course, bikies is a word for one percenters over there. Different cultures, but they call them Nike bikies. They'd rather dress up in $200 pants, wear their fake gold chains, and not ride. Again, we got hip hoppers over here. The hip hop uh, phenomenon. It's kind of like the big wheel bagger. It just looks stupid. You know, if I wanted to ride a big wheel, I would have done that as a kid. But I don't want to ride a big wheel when I'm this age. It's kind of like that. It's just not fashionable, if you ask me. But again, these kids are different than us. They think different than us. So if it helps them get some muff, cool. Just don't come over by me and say you're a biker because I'm going to laugh at you. See, I got a problem with laughing at people that dress stupid. And this is one of those deals. One of them deals. I had to do an episode on this. I was like, I seen some pictures of of different creators wearing this stuff. And all I did was slap my head. I was like, it's over. It's done. The way we know of things is gone if they're wearing this kind of stuff. I wondered, though, uh, who actually wears the pants in the family? If <laughs> Come on, guys, you got to give me that one. You know, they raid their closets. So those are hip-hop bikers. That's what we have here in the United States, people. Because I know I always make fun of Nike bikies. Well, we have our own problems here as well. Another subject I wanted to broach on real quick is colors in bars. I always explain the one side of the story with the bar owner and stuff like that. How, well, it's their business. They can do whatever the hell they want to do. Which is true. This is America, at least for now. So they to do what they want in their establishment. What I find funny, though, is when some of these people just smack the freaking no colors sign on their bar, but in previous years benefited from poker runs, 
charity rides, and said MC events, that's hypocritical right there. Now, I get it if you're under pressure from zoning within your community because that's the first thing they try to do to put you out of business is get you rezoned. So it's kind of like you're forced to do it. Kind of like what they did in Sturges where they threaten the casino's liquor license because that's their favorite thing to do is go over after a liquor license and stuff. I get it. But if you have no pressure... Why don't you just sit down with the MC and say, hey, this is the problem I'm having. This happened the other day. Instead of me throwing a no color sign up, can you guys police your own? Very simple conversation because guess what? You're not going to lose money on the deal. Because when you throw an MC or no MC color sign up, Not only are you kicking away people that wear colors, but the people that they know. And most of the time, you don't have anybody to replace that. So it's more financially better if you actually sit down and talk to the club. Don't be one of them people that just follow the fanfare. You know, that's another uh, trend within bars is they see one bar put up no colors, then the next uh, bar does it. And all you're doing is shooting yourselves in the foot, if you ask me. You're losing that money. That's just something I wanted to put out there because I had to get off that Nike bikey and hip hopper subject, man. It's just like really freaky. It freaks me out, man. It really does freak me out. Because I guess I have a certain way of looking at stuff. A man is supposed to be a man. They're supposed to have their nuts and their word. When you see some of these guys running around in these tight jeans and stuff, it's hard to take them seriously as a man. For one, they speak funny. Because their balls are all squeezed up in the tight pants. They speak funny. It's hard not to laugh at them. And if I have to laugh at you, then I can't take you serious because you're a clown. We have a lot of clowns nowadays in the biker scene. Too many clowns. Because things are not taken serious at that point. Which, hey, I love a good laugh once in a while. But I don't want it to where everybody thinks we're girly men. Come on, what's wrong with you people? You can style, get the broads, and not look like a girly man. So I suggest all these girly men that wear these type of clothes, go start you the Sons of the Hip Hop MC. Go start that. You know, I put a picture on the thumbnail where it has the Sons of Anarchy, Grim Reaper, and the turntables and stuff. That can be your patch. Because at least then, people on the street can distinguish if you're a girly man or you're the real thing. What do you guys think? I just noticed this. Where have I been? I have not been in my head lately, I guess, if I haven't noticed this trend. Maybe it's something new. I don't know. I don't wear girly men pants. That's Tinkerbell stuff. I don't like Tinkerbell stuff. I'm just trying to be honest. And if you're watching and you wear this kind of stuff, maybe leave me a comment on why you wear this kind of stuff. Because God knows I want to know why you do it. Anyway, I'm going over right now to the radio station, InsaneVoltage.com. It's 24-7, 365 a year, commercial free, and some of the baddest ass music you'll ever hear on there. Real music, by the way. And you girly men, you're not going to be able to listen to this kind of music because it might you know, hurt your ego a little bit. 
get on over there check us out don't forget to uh hit us on discord too man you can see us live uh we guest china dolls panties every uh morning the color of them she dances gives us a strip dance i get the girls up in discord moving the titties flowing everything it's a good old time over on the radio i'll catch you then see you later don't forget to subscribe and punch that girly man in the mouth that's what i have to say Oh,